everybody, it's your boy Hugh here from Korea of. Uh, this is a 360 video. So right now I am in front of the Tokyo Tower. Uh, the sun just rise. Uh, look behind me and look up, you will see the giant epic Tokyo Tower. Um, I am actually right in front of it, in front of this temple, uh, underneath the Tokyo Tower. If you look on your left side, in the distance, you probably will see uh, my two other camera doing a time lapse right now. It's pretty windy here, by the way, guys, it's freezing. Um, so if you look at that camera, uh, hopefully you see it in the distance because uh, why not capturing it is an Insta 261. It's not a really high resolution camera. I mean, it's 4K, but still. You probably could not see the distance, but in the distance you see a monopod right there. On top of it is the Obsidian Go, and on top of the Obsidian Go is the E two sixty VR camera. They both doing a time lapse. One is doing a stereoscopic. Ooh, windy. I'm really worried about a monopod fell down. Anyway, uh, the Obsidian Go is doing a eight K stereoscopic two sixty time lapse, uh, and then on top of it, the E is doing a five point seven K regular time lapse. On, on my hand right now is the Misphere uh, camera. It's one of the most popular 360 video camera that everybody has. It's also really cheap. Um, so this camera just have a new firmware update. If you saw my other video, this camera right now can take raw photo as as well as the JPEG photo, and also can do blanketing. And today I just test out this camera, the blanketing feature. So uh, what it mean is. Uh, it's taking HDR photo, one uh, one stop higher, one stop lower, and one stop regular, and combine three photos together to create the HDR look. So hopefully they will turn out great on this camera, the HDR testing in front of Tokyo Tower, and I also test out the JPEG and the RAW photo. Compare with the camera filming right now, the Insta 261, uh, taking also RAW photo in uh, I believe 6.9K resolution, pretty high resolution, both this camera. So I will bring that in post so you will see it. But again, uh, this is just a quick vlog to tell you what I'm doing in Tokyo. So uh, come back and subscribe and keep ch checking my next video about my adventure in Tokyo.